Leopards, hyenas, even lions fear this little demon. If you enjoy the ball-biting antics of the honey badger, then you are going to absolutely treasure all eight minutes of this video. You see, today, we shall break down every single aspect of this little ball-biting menace. I shall answer some of humanity's greatest questions. Like, does the honey badger really go for the family jewels? And is it really that tough and fearless like its infamous reputation implies? Lastly, I will even unveil a real-life lion-sized honey badger, which actually lived during prehistoric times. Now, let me give you a little refresher in case you forgot what the careless and fearless ball-biting honey badger is all about. Not only will it attack entire prides of lions, but also large packs of hyenas. And if it gets bitten by a venomous snake, it will simply pass out and wake up a few hours later with a bit of a hangover, as they are highly resistant against venom. It literally does not care about anything or anyone. Even the formidable quills of the porcupine do not phase it. They truly live life like there's a reset button when it ends. Their relentless drive for survival is truly something else, and it's backed up by a tenacity unmatched by any other creature in the world. They have such an infamous reputation inside the animal kingdom that even cheetah cubs have evolved to mimic their look, so larger predators stays away from them. And that's pretty much the essence of the honey badger. Let's continue by looking deeper into their reputation and lore history. You're probably familiar with the saying that honey badgers don't care or that the honey badger don't give a shit. But have you ever wondered where this actually comes from? Well, it all stems from this 12-year-old video titled The Crazy Nasty Ass Honey Badger by Randall. The whole video basically goes something like this. It's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. Now, this video has over 100 million views and has created a very dedicated fan base for the honey badger. Heck, even the Guinness Book of Records declared it as the most fearless animal on the planet. But is this reputation deserved? Well, at first glance yes, as it has been seen squaring up to entire prides of lions and a plethora of other large predators, which almost no other animal on the planet dares to even think about, especially not something as small as the honey badger. The only example I could think of is the batshit crazy mongoose, but that's a topic for another video. Now this begs the question, are they really fearless or just kind of stupid and therefore don't really understand the dangers of these activities? Well, that is most likely not the case, as honey badgers are actually incredibly smart. It's actually kind of scary how complex their problem-solving skills are. Let me introduce you to Stoffel. Stoffel is a rescued honey badger that grew up in Maholoholo Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in South Africa and is famous for his escapes. No matter what the staff did, there was no way of holding Stoffel inside his enclosure. He would take tools like shovels, sticks, tires, rakes, and basically use them as a ladder. After they removed all the maintenance tools, Stoffel started digging up frickin' rocks, rolled them to one corner, making him reach the top of the wall. They then removed all the rocks, but what do you think Stoffel did? Well, he simply waited for it to rain so he could roll dirt together making a literal staircase and boom he was once again out this dude was such a menace that they even tried to calm him down by giving him a female named hammy but what did stoffel do well he quickly taught her the ropes and they became an infamous duo on the same level as bonnie and clyde the most impressive escape was the front gate escape where stoffel would hold the door still while hammy climbed up unlocking each lock one by one stoffel even waited for hammy to climb down before finally escaping together now the interesting thing about these escapes is that stoffel would not escape so he could simply run away Way. He would actually just do it so he could go visit his caretaker, Brian, who pretty much was his dad. One time he even escaped, just so he could break into another enclosure and mess up some lions before returning home. An absolute maniac indeed. With this in mind, I think it is safe to say that the honey badger is more than aware of the dangers, which makes it even more impressive in my opinion. Next, we need to look deeper into a more serious matter. Namely, if the honey badger really goes straight for the balls or not. There are actually numerous anecdotal stories from hunters, trackers and park rangers that support this claim. Also, it's very funny if it's true, so I'll be as biased as possible. But from what I could find, honey badgers actually do seem to have a tendency to go chimp mode all over the sacks of larger animals, which could explain why lions are so cautious around them. Based on my very unbiased findings, I would say that they do indeed go straight for the balls. It has at least happened once or twice. Now, this next part might be a bit controversial for most, but I have to touch on it. Basically, honey badgers, even with their immensely powerful reputation amongst other animals, do indeed get bodied left and right on a daily. I know. This might be a hard pill to swallow, but someone has to say it. This includes hyenas, lions, leopards, crocodiles, and even some soy boy grass eaters get a few good swings in now and then. Although most of the time, they do in fact win or at least survive the altercations. 
The reason these honey badgers are so freaking hard to perish is that they are literally built for close combat scenarios. They basically have no weak points to exploit. Just look at their small eyes and ears. Even their tail is shorter, making it really hard for predators to grab these little troublemongers. Their extra thick and loose skin also adds to the difficulty of holding them still. It also allows the honey badger to squirm around, enabling them to counter with their own combos when in a chokehold. Now, you are probably left with the feeling that these maniacs can't possibly be great parents, but they actually are. Well, they are not the greatest fathers, as they pretty much disappear as soon as the hormone deed is complete, so the mother is left to deal with the cub by herself. She will basically make a hole in the ground, even putting grass down there making it real nice for the baby. The mother is also a fierce protector. She will literally charge headfirst into leopards to save her precious baby. The baby does not make it easy for her either. They will literally stumble their way up to massive animals trying to pick a fight when they can't even walk properly yet. They are basically born a menace and instantly start living according to their ungodly fierce reputation. We have talked a lot about how much of an infamous reputation the honey badgers have built up over the years. So why are they called honey badgers when there is literally nothing sweet about them? Well, this is simply because they are known to enjoy Joy honey. They are basically built for raiding beehives, as their thick skin and venom resistance make them able to withstand all the stings in the world. Now, before we delve into the prehistoric lion sized honey badger, here is what an albino honey badger looks like. Pretty cool indeed, and also extremely rare. In the beginning of the video, I promised an actual lion sized honey badger which I intend to deliver. We just need to travel back in time, all the way into the Miocene Epoch, around five million years ago. At this point in time, the planet was ruled by massive saber-tooths and big chickens, but most of the wildlife back then was actually pretty similar to their modern relatives. But the honey badger is actually puny, compared to its prehistoric counterpart. Meet the absolute unit that was the Eomelivarini, which had enormous body proportions compared to the modern honey badger. It wasn't quite as big as a lion, but scientists have compared it to be roughly the size of a jaguar, which is close enough for me. Very little is actually known about this monster. But unlike the honey badger, it is thought to have been built for pursuit which implies that it was more of a hunter rather than a scavenger like the modern honey badger. Just imagine what sort of menace this creature would have been. Literally a walking, life-canceling machine. Just imagine a honey badger this size chasing you down with unnatural speeds. Truly terrifying indeed. If this creature also had the same relentless godlike mindset the modern honey badger does, it would have been absolutely unstoppable. Before I end the video, I should also mention that the honey badger is part of the mustelid family, which is basically just a bunch of demons like the giant river otter, American Badger, or the formidable Wolverine. So, if you want me to cover any of them, or any other animal for that matter, in a similar fashion, let me know in the comments. Now, this video also took a lot more time to make than usual, mainly because I wanted it to be perfect. So please do let me know what you thought about the editing and sound design, etc., so I can improve upon it for the next video. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like on it, and maybe watch some of my other videos on screen, and I will see you in the next one.